When players found out about the fake competitions, the LDOE community was in uproar. After many weeks of silence, here is the response from the devs. Five weeks ago, I posted a video exposing Last Day on Earth for creating fake competitions. It was a very sobering video because I love Last Day on Earth and I want it to succeed, but I also really don't like what they did. In fact, I got really angry in that video, maybe even angrier than I got in my older video where I was telling PC gamers to stop bullying mobile gamers. But when I made that video, the Last Day on Earth community had several different responses as they wondered what Kafir would do next. Some of you were worried that I was going to get in trouble with Kafir and lose my status as a partner. Others demanded to know the truth and hoped that if it was true, that Kafir would give an apology gift in response to their mistake to make up for the vast amount of resources you spent to compete in the fake competition. While others were satisfied when they made the announcement that they were not going to make competitions like this anymore. So to start off, let me say that I am not in trouble for posting that video, nor did I break any of the rules of being a partner. Kafir has told me before and they reassured me again after that video that Kafir never forbids their partners from sharing their opinions. I think this is an incredibly admirable philosophy for Kafir to take on. For those of you who don't know, if Kafir wanted to, they could ask me to stop using their game footage in my future videos. Now I could still use some footage in my videos, but I would have to be really careful to always be commenting on what I'm doing and abide by all the copyright laws, which would be a huge headache and honestly, I would just stop covering the game. So Kafir's policy that they do not want to interfere with us as partners from sharing our opinions is very admirable and I think it's indicative to what Kafir is trying to do. If Kafir was truly trying to scam people as some of its haters claim, I have no doubt that they would put a tighter filter on their partners. But if they did that, then they wouldn't get to experience our true opinions about the game, which I think that means that they care more about understanding how players are responding to their game than they do about making money from it. Now I know that they deleted some of your comments sharing that video on their social media, which bothered some of you and that makes sense, but they didn't delete it on the official discord or anywhere that I posted it. So perhaps that is because of the way that you guys posted it. I'm not sure about this, but the bottom line is that Kafir reassured me that I did nothing wrong and that I'm always free to share my opinion, which would totally line up with my other theories about Kafir and what they are doing behind the scenes that we can't see. If you have not seen Seen my videos with those theories, make sure to check out my new playlist called Conspiracy Theories About Kafir. So the bigger question that I know most of you guys have is were the competitions actually fake? The evidence I presented in that video was overwhelming, but sometimes there are crazy explanations that we couldn't have thought of on our own. Kafir was planning on coming up with an official response that they were going to post publicly, but they have been so busy with this most recent Sector 7 update and the upcoming Season 6 update that they just haven't had the time to prepare one. So instead, they said it was fine for me to share part of the unofficial response that they gave me. When we were chatting, they explained that some of the information in that video was incorrect. But when I asked them what information was incorrect so that I could avoid using those sources in the future, they said that all they can say is that some information from some of my sources were at some level incorrect, <laughs> which cracked me up and I told them that there was no possible way for me to use that information to prevent making that mistake in the future. And then they explained, we can't share internal statistics. The studio prefers to keep all numbers in private. That's why I can't bring you real numbers. That is also why it's difficult to prepare an answer that is not vague. As a person who knows how businesses work, you should understand there are many factors for keeping some numbers in private. I'm still talking to the other devs about topics we can share and which ones I can't bring to players. I hope we'll be able to share more information on the leaderboard topics, like what cheaters were detected by the security system, how it works, but right now I can't do that because I'm not sure if cheaters understand how it works and find a way to trick it. So of course this answer didn't satisfy me, but it did make me understand why they're having trouble responding and why almost five weeks after they wrote this, they still haven't had time to prepare an official response. And I'm a little torn on 
on what I want them to do next because this last Sector 7 update is in my opinion the best multiplayer update they've made so far. So I don't want them to take time away from preparing great updates to address this, but I also think what they did was really wrong and that you guys should be compensated for working hard towards rewards that were ultimately rigged. Furthermore, as I look back, the most likely numbers that I could have gotten wrong in that video were the numbers I shared in the beginning of active and total last day on earth players. I believe that is the internal statistics Kafir was referring to that they prefer to keep secret. But those weren't actually any of the main premises of my argument for why I was convinced they were fake competitions. My four premises in that video were that it is not normal for a competition to start out easy and get harder, especially in light of how Fort Moss was set up. That usually most competitive players make it to the top 5% of competitions because there are so many casual gamers, that there is usually a leaderboard, and that Kafir made a public announcement that hackers' rankings do not affect our own. None of these four premises are based on Kafir Studio statistics, and other than the premise provided by Kafir themselves, all of them have overwhelming player anecdotal support. Now, players can exaggerate, so it's possible that some of the Fort Moss statistics I mentioned were off, but we did a lot of research on the Christmas competition, and I don't see any possible way that those numbers were incorrect. So my fear is that Kafir is getting distracted by the incorrect internal statistics that I shared and not addressing the four main premises presented in that video. I understand that they cannot share exact numbers with us, but I think it's strange that they cannot tell us anything to account for these exposed abnormalities, and a little suspicious that they won't just deny that they were fake competitions. Whether I used wrong statistics or not, if my conclusion was correct that they were fake competitions, then I don't think it really matters. So in my opinion, unless they can address these four premises, I think they should give an apology gift compensating you guys for the hard work that that you did in those competitions. In fact, even if there is a good explanation, they already admitted themselves that the system was poorly set up without giving the reason, so perhaps an apology gift is merited regardless. But my question is, what do you guys think? The devs watch all of my videos, so if you have an opinion on this subject, please vote in this poll so that they can see it and respond when they have time. On a different note, I'm excited to announce that I am moving my YouTube studio from my bedroom closet to an actual room. This will not only improve the sound quality of all of my videos, but because my closet is cramped and gets hot quickly, it will make it a lot more enjoyable for me to do more live streaming and gameplay videos on my other channel. Furthermore, it will make my wife much more likely to make more gameplay videos, which I know a lot of you have expressed a desire for her to do more. Well, that's it guys. I post a new video every Friday at the same time each week. Also, I'm going to be making a lot of Last Day on Earth videos over the next couple months because I'm getting pretty close to 100,000 subscribers, so I'm going to try to speed that up. All right guys, I'll see you next time.